Hey parents, Mr. Jim here. Ever since Osmo sent us our Genius Starter Kit, it's become the kids' favorite games to play with at home. The best part is how well they're designed to encourage learning in a way that's actually exciting. I've honestly never seen my kids pick up new skills as fast as they are after playing with Osmo. I can't help but play along with my kids as we're having a blast playing games that explore math, puzzles, art, reading, and more. Genius Starter Kits come with a base and reflector that fit most iPad models. Available at PlayOsmo.com. That's PlayOsmo.com. Osmo. Learning well played. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. Have you smashed the follow button? Well, you definitely need to go hunting for that plus sign or that button that says follow or subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our awesome critter adventures. Because us critter protectors, we need to learn as much as we can about the critters, both around us and around the world, so that we can protect them. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! Whee! Shouted Nora as she sped across the river. She was an amazing floater, was able to fill her intestines with air so she could float even in deep water like the rivers near her home. <gasps> Do you know how to float on water? That's a pretty amazing skill that Nora has. <gasps> you hold all the air in your chest and it helps you float on the water. <sighs> I can't hold my breath for very long. But Nora, she can hold her breath much longer than me. You see, Nora is a nine-banded armadillo. Have you ever seen an armadillo before? Oh, they're amazing. She had plates of armor all over her body to protect her from a hungry predator. And nine stripes on her back. Four legs, two adorable ears, and one long snout with a very sticky tongue. <sniffs> On this particular beautiful day, Nora was playing with her three sisters, Natalie, Noelle, and Nina. They were quadruplets and loved playing together. Hold on, time out. What is a quadruplet? That is a big word. I've heard of a twin and uh, triplets. Have you heard of twins and triplets? Yeah, twins mean somebody that was born at the same time of, as their brother or sister. So that's two. Or triplet. Do you know how many that is? Yes, that means there were three babies born at the same time. And how many do you think are quadruplets? Four. Holy smokes. That sounds like a lot of crying baby armadillos. Nora, wait up, cried Natalie as she floated behind her. Don't leave us behind, chimed Noel and Nina. The sisters all floated along until they settled in a small, quiet inlet they called the waterhole. Yeah, they were floating down the river while holding their breath. They loved floating down the river, and sometimes they would spend hours playing here with each other. Nora liked bobbing all the way to the bottom and holding her breath. Jump in with me, Nina! Look for treasure under the water with me! You see, Nora could hold her breath for six minutes. Wow, that's a long time. Just like a grown-up armadillo. Nina, on the other hand, she was not so sure about putting her face in all the way underwater. Um, not right now, Nora, said Nina. I'm, I'm looking for land treasure. I, I'm, I don't want to go underwater right now, she replied back. Soon it was getting close to lunchtime, so the quadruplets decided it was best to head back home. They were getting pretty hungry, and their mom would probably be wondering where they were. She did not like it when they left the burrow for too long. Nora loved being the leader, and she happily led her sisters along a grassy path near the river. 
since they needed to go back upstream, it was going to be a lot easier uh, walking on the shore instead of trying to swim up against the current. Girls, it's dinner time, called their mother. They made it back just in time to shout back, Okay, Mom, we're coming. Whew, that was a close one. They washed up and climbed down to their underground burrow. Yeah, armadillos, they live in underground burrows deep under in the dirt. That's pretty cool. Dinner is served, my dears, said their mom. And they all enjoyed a delicious bowl of bug soup. Have you ever eaten bug soup before? Ooh, if you're an armadillo, it's a very delicious thing. But if you're a person like me, I don't think I would like bug soup. So what did you girls do today? Asked their mom. Oh, we had such a fun time floating down the river, said Nora. And I even swam all the way to the bottom and found some pretty cool shells down there. What? I didn't know you found shells, said Nina. Ah, did you bring any for me? Nora shook her head no and said, Nina, you you should have jumped in the water with me. I would have shown you where they were and you could have grabbed some. I'm sorry, I didn't grab any for you. I just don't like going underwater, said Nina. It's really scary to put your face underwater. I was a lot like you, Nina, when I was your age, said their mom. I used to be so afraid of going underwater and just really being in the water. But the older I got, the braver I became to try and try again. And then pretty soon, I was diving in the water just like your sister. So I know just in time, the same will happen with you. (sighs) All four of the quadruplets started to yawn. It was dawn, which meant it was almost bedtime. Wait a second, doesn't dawn mean the sun is coming up? Like it's daytime? Oh yes, you see, armadillos are nocturnal, so they sleep during the day. Wait, does that mean they were floating down the river in the middle of the night? Holy smokes, they're a lot braver than me. As Nora, Natalie, Noelle, and Nina all started to tuck themselves into bed, they yawned and laid their head on their pillow. But then, all of a sudden, the ground began to shake. Boom, boom. And bits of dirt started to fall on their faces and their beds from their ceiling. What in the world could it be? And then they heard a sound. All four of the sisters sat up in their beds. They knew that sound. And they were in some serious trouble. Oh no! Is that a predator outside of their den? What in the world is going to happen? I'm not sure, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens on the next adventure of Kids Animal Stories. Great job! You listened all the way to the end. Have you ever seen an armadillo before? Oh, they're pretty silly looking. There's not many other critters that look just like them. They do have four legs and little fingers with very long claws that help them dig in the ground. They have a long tail and two adorable ears, but it's their armor that is the most distinguishable characteristic about these armadillos. Wait a second. They have armor and they're called armadillos huh well friends i hope you have a super duper day and i will see you next time bye